Yeah. There you go. We're ready, right. baby. Go okay. for it. Okay. All right. So I learned something this week. And so did Tasha and Malik. And although it was not a lesson I was necessarily trying to seek, it's a lesson we need to take heart since we're all a part of the system we call justice. And since it's just us, let's learn this together and whether or not it's palatable, our system is fallible. So I can cheat on my taxes, I can defraud the government, I can lie to Congress, break my promise, defy my bail deal. I'm just saying, trying to keep it real, as long as I just commit white collar crimes and all the time I cheat and defraud and lie, don't really matter because after all, mom, all the kids are doing it every day and I know your mama said, that's okay, baby, I'll let you off the easy way. My mama did this. <laughs> I mean, anyway, what harm did he do? What crime did he commit? And although he would never admit to wrongdoing, because after all, before he took his fall, his damned ostrich jacket was a product of his racket, and the millions he stole were never really needed. Well, maybe with infrastructure, immigration, our own starving families didn't really matter. This man had who stole and stole some more all the time because it was just a white-collar crime. <laughs> So Keisha and Jose and Malik and Mario learned that in this country, in our great land, when you steal a backpack or you buy a gram, you're going to jail for a very long time for a nonviolent crime. Not right now. Because justice is supposed to be blind, but somehow she's been seeing around that blindfold. Somehow she got a hold of the fact that a $30 backpack gets more jail time than a multi-million dollar crime. How about that? And somehow, if you get caught trying to sell some weed, it's important to know and a lesson to heed that the 10 bucks you made from this nonviolent crime is guaranteed to get you more time than some well-dressed slime shirking his financial responsibility to the country who allowed him to have a lavish lifestyle by sending our money across the seas to avoid paying his taxation fees. All right now. Yes. So listen hard and listen well to the lesson I have to tell. Break the law if you must. Just remember, the law we show leniency if you're lucky enough to be a white-collar crime breaker who steals from our national resources. As the statistics show in plain sight, the fact is, it's not just the collar that needs to be white. Tell you, Lori will speak it every week. Put your hands together and show us some love, y'all. That's her original. She is.